All right. Uh, so my name's Blake, and uh, we were supposed to film like a introduction to this video, but we didn't really have time. So sorry about that. But yeah, enjoy this region ninety nine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you say no introduction? No, no. Uh, we didn't. No, really no, no. Have I could have swore you just said no, you're not, not gonna have like a proper introduction this time. No, we didn't. Is that what I heard you say? I think that's what I heard you say. Dead gummit, Blake. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Your time management skills are horrible, son. From now on, have a proper introduction. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Sheesh! Lights, camera. Rolling. Action. We're interviewing Jorge. How's your homecoming week been, Jorge? Uh, it's been actually really great. Can you please put your mask up, Jorge? Yeah, put my mask up. <laughs> sorry, I thought we were okay. What I'm very sorry, camera, and people who are watching. Are we going to beat DCT this Friday? We're going to blow the brakes off them. Uh, take me through your outfit. What are you wearing today, Jorge? Okay, so okay that's enough. Uh, Let's go. Homecoming <laughs> week going. Woo, it just, I, I'm just overjoyed with excitement. Okay, this is going to be on Region 89. Are you familiar with the show? Yeah, I'm kind of sad. It's named after Craig Miller, but uh, I'm no. impressed with everything else besides that. That's completely understandable. Have you happened to watch last week's skit? I haven't had a chance to yet. I think you might enjoy it. I think you should check it out. Uh, it's on the YouTube channel. Oh, so it oh, should I mean, because, you know, I'm kind of old. No, okay, okay. okay yeah. I got you. I think you need to put a lay on or something, you know, to contribute. To uh, you know, uh, is it not Intelligent Person Day? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Ask Mr. Miller. Obviously, he doesn't know. <laughs> I completely agree. Fit into that. I mean, you know. uh, take me through your everyday outfit, Mr. Shipman. Well, you know, it's the principal uniform. Okay. You know, I'm a former coach. Got to have a uniform. Okay. Did Mr. Miller tell you that I outclassed him as uh, the commentating went on Friday night? Yeah. Uh, well, he speaks very highly of you. Well, he needs to because I get his evaluations. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You can interview her, but nothing even remotely disrespectful. Do you understand me? I get you. I get you. Uh, can I interview you, ma'am? <laughs> so it's nice to meet you. My name's Blake. Um, I'm a uh, national weatherman, um, yes. national interviewer. Who are you? I'm Dr. Karen Kirtner, your superintendent of Nettleton Public Schools. Oh, cool, cool. Superintendent. Yeah. I, I'm a little taller than you, though, Just so I, bit, I don't guess you're that super. <laughs> so what are you going to do for our school? Well, I'm going to provide for you all the education that I can, uh, give you programs, give you, um, <laughs> give you. So, um, it's been nice um, talking to meeting you. Well, uh, nice to meet you. Um, so, have a good day, Miss Intendant. Um, um, uh huh. Yeah, okay. You have a good day. So, we're about to interview the, the mayor of like Arkansas or something. Oh, Hi. Look at here. Uh, camera, the whole deal. My, my name's Blake. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, uh, what's your name? Harold Copenhaver. So, uh, what are you? Like, what do you do? I'm the mayor of Jonesboro. Oh, the mayor of Jonesboro. The mayor of Jonesboro. Um, uh, oh, I'm the mayor. I was a former state representative, and I'm, now I'm the mayor of Jonesboro. Oh, uh, well, I guess that means you went down. You're not representing a state no more, are you? No, well, state representative only represents 30,000 people. I represent over 85,000 people in Jonesboro. Man, that's... So I'm honored. That's like... It's a big job. Quadruple. My goodness. Yeah. That's more than I can count to on <laughs> both my hands. Um, so did you not get the memo for today? You're supposed to dress up as like a tourist. Did you not get the memo? Or? Well, no, I guess I did not. I guess I can, for, you can forgive it, it once. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I yeah. didn't wear a tie, if that's okay. Yeah, okay. I guess. Okay. So I moved here in 1970. My, my dad was Dean of Fine Arts at Arkansas State University. So education took us our path here. But at that time, that's when Nettleton and Jonesboro were coming together as communities. Before, they were separate cities. And so they united around that time. But there was also a storm a couple years ago prior to that 
in the late 60s, and it took a lot of lives in, in uh, uh, Nettleton School District and Jonesboro, and they all came together. So again, that was a part of the career of understanding what Nettleton and Jonesboro now were working together and thriving as a community, all working as one. So we all got united together? Yes. Like, it's like United States, except like bigger, something like that. Uh, uh, I guess that's about it, sir. Okay. Um, All right. Thank you. It's glad to. It's an honor to be here today, and, hey. and obviously, I'm looking forward to seeing what you, the students, can do in our community. I want to empower y'all to do things in our community because it's your future. Oh. So, uh, all right. Nice to meet y'all. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. I got you. Good job. I got you. Good job. You did good. You did good. I didn't do good.